Welcome to another one of my video reviews. My name is Todd Mikulak. This time I have one of Sparmax's Arizm Viz airbrush compressors to take a look at. Before we get started, this review is brought to you by the MSC Review Connect, along with the Kitmaker Network. And a special thanks needs to go to airbrushes.com in the UK for providing me with this Sparmax Arizm Viz compressor for this review. Since 1978, Sparmax has been a major contender in the airbrush industry, providing design and manufacturing of airbrushes, compressors, and many related accessories to the market. With support from the great folks over at airbrushes.com in the UK, I've been allowed the opportunity to see firsthand for myself one of Sparmax's latest releases, the Arizm Viz Compressor. As part of this review, I will discuss the design specifications of this new compressor, some of the new features included, as well as taking the compressor for a test drive to put it through its pace to see how it performs on normal everyday use, and possibly a touch beyond. The first thing we need to do is unbox the new compressor. The Arizm Viz compressor is delivered in a somewhat classy cardboard box imprinted with the Sparmax logos and color photos of the Arizm Viz compressor on the front and back. All of the contacts within the box have been secured safely within protective cardboard inserts and all of the components are wrapped in individual plastic bags. Inside the box we find the Arizm Viz compressor itself, an AC adapter power supply, 2 meter air hose, clear acrylic airbrush holder, this is part of the smart stop control, a new silver bullet plus moisture trap, and two instructional sheets. In addition to the provided instruction sheets, Airbrushes.com also supplies a few more helpful pieces of documentation to go along with the new compressor. Since the compressor was supplied to me with, from the good folks over at Airbrushes.com, which is located in the UK, I needed to get a power conversion adapter for this review. After we get everything out of the box, the first thing you notice is the overall size of the unit. The Arizm Viz is a compact compressor, measuring only 20 centimeters long by 18 centimeters high and a width of about 12 centimeters. The size is certainly an area of Sparmax has made an effort in reducing. On the back of the Arizm Viz, you'll find the on-off switch located at the top left corner. In the lower left corner, you'll find the input for the AC adapter. Moving around to the front of the compressor, we'll find the pressure gauge. This is both labeled in PSI and kilograms per cubic meter squared. Below the pressure gauge, you'll find a standard 1 8 inch BSP outlet for the air hose. Sparmax mentions that the Arizm Viz incorporates two new innovative designs, the Smart Stop and the Silver Bullet Plus. So with that, if we move up to the top of the unit, there is a black plate with a square insert on top. This is Sparmax's Smart Stop power saving function. Provided in the box is a clear acrylic airbrush holder which slides snugly into the square opening of the Smart Stop switch. With the power on, the compressor will run at a steady pace. Place your airbrush into the holder and the motor to the compressor will stop as the weight of the airbrush will trigger the on-off switch. By picking up the airbrush, the switch opens and the compressor starts. Within the documentation provided, they go on to say, and I quote, when used in conjunction with each other, the result is a compact, ergonomic, and intuitive compressor for airbrushing, end quote. Like the overall size, the weight is another plus especially if you travel with your airbrushing tools, such as I do. The unit weighs only 5.5 pounds. There is no regulator included with the compressor. Instead, Sparmax provides an inline water trap called the Silver Bullet Plus. Improved over the original Silver Bullet, Silver Bullet Plus comes with a small bleed valve installed into the side of it. This small bleed valve works similar to the MAC valves installed in some airbrushes just near the nozzle. Effectively, this bleed valve assists the user in changing the flow rate of the airbrush. Basically, the overall output of the airbrush is changed when you open or close the valve. There's one downside to the valve. When the valve is open, it effectively creates a leak, which makes a small hissing sound from the air out of the valve. Other than the sound, this valve does exactly what it is intended to do. It allows the user to change the flow rate of the liquid in the airbrush. I don't want to waste too much time in this video going over mindless scientific calculations to explain this. I will say that closing the valve will increase the velocity of the air and the fluid coming out the nozzle. And the pressure actually decreases when this happens. 
All this allows you to control the output of paint and air with your airbrush. We're going to go ahead and turn on the Arizm Viz here and uh, see what it, how it works. And of course, nothing goes on. That would be the smart stop technology here. If you pull the airbrush out, compressor goes on. Put it back, compressor goes off. On the list of features of the Arizm Viz, there is listed the noise level which shows up at 45 plus or minus decibels. As part of the review, I wanted to check to see how close the output actually was. This might also give some people a good indication of the overall sound created by this compressor. Using a decibel meter, I recorded a range between 50 and 65 decibels. This, of course, was directly right next to the unit while it was running. I also placed the compressor in a location next to me on the floor, typical of where I would normally use it, which is about two and a half feet away from my working space. The decibel meter then recorded exactly 45 plus or minus decibel levels, as outlined by the product documentation. This equates to the compressor running very quietly, something similar to a no normal voice level of a person talking. I did notice in the documentation that there is a list of airbrushes with low air consumption that are recommended for use with the Arizm Viz. Sadly, I do not have any of these airbrushes on the list. However, I do have a number of top quality airbrushes to use and even one of Sparmax's own SP20X to give the compressor a run for its money. It's best to note that the Arizm Viz has a constant output of 60 PSI, which is recorded on the pressure gauge. Working pressure I have in my standard system right now is between 12 and 18 PSI, no more than 20 PSI typically. I have these settings for the sole reason that acrylic paints that I use tend to not respond well to higher pressure settings. As part of my testing, I found that in each case the compressor performed beautifully. The airflow is extremely consistent with no indication of any lag in flow as seen with many start and stop models of compressors. I ran the Silver Bullet through its places as well. The bleed valve on the Silver Bullet Plus is a little bit new to me. My normal setup when airbrushing consists of a compressor mounted regulator which allows me to adjust the working pressure as I work. This is somewhat different than what I'm used to. But the learning curve is small. I was able to control the overall flow rate adequately with the Silver Bullet Plus. As part of this review, I wanted to show the change in flow rate using the Silver Bullet Plus and the bleed valve on the side. Using an anemometer set to cubic feet per minute, there is a considerable change in velocity of the airbrush flow over the entire range of the bleed valve control. There are no calibration markings on the bleed valve and only one line located on top of the control knob shows you where the setting is. So adjusting this bleed valve is going to be a little bit of a trial and error period, at least until you're comfortable knowing where you like the settings. I repeated this testing with all of my airbrushes. There was no noticeable change in performance witness. When approaching an evaluation of any air compressor, there is a few key factors I look closely at to help me determine the overall performance of the unit in a review. The size, the output, features, maintenance, and a decibel output. Beginning with the size, the Arizm Viz gets high marks with me. The unit is light and very compact and has a streamlined appearance, which is perfect for static use at home as well as when traveling. The performance or output of a compressor is one of the largest factors that go into deciding which is the best air compressor for your needs. At a working pressure of 60 PSI, there is certainly enough output for all airbrushing needs. As Sparmax states, both the Smart Stop function and Silver Bullet Plus work hand in hand. The Smart Stop allows the user to maintain the working pressure of the compressor once the compressor is stopped by placing the airbrush into the holder. This best resembles the constant pressure supply, or stabilizing effect, witnessed when using an external tank in conjunction with a standard compressor. I suppose the best part of this is that the external tank is not needed, which takes up space. In addition to maintaining the pressure, the Smart Stop effectively eliminates the constant starting and stopping seen with traditional tankless compressors and the variation in pressure it may cause. With the constant pressure issue solved, the Silver Bullet Plus then allows the user to make minor adjustments right at their fingertips. The Arizm Viz is a zero maintenance oilless piston air compressor, so there's nothing to do to keep the compressor from working at its optimum design specifications. As for the compressor's decibel output, the Arizm Viz is extremely quiet which is another welcomed feature. Sparmax does offer an optional battery pack and charger, which is sold separately. Since the compressor is comprised of a DC motor, it is designed to draw less power than comparable AC compressors. 
allowing the battery pack to supply uninterrupted service while on the grow. The Arizim Viz compressor is a fantastic alternative to traditional air compressors on the market today. This compressor is compact, versatile, and powerful enough to fit most, if not all, modeling needs. I would like to again thank Airbrushes.com for providing the Sparmax Arizim Viz for this review. You can find this compressor and a huge selection of airbrushing supplies at their website, airbrushes.com.